Greetings, astronomy lovers. I'm new Michio. What if I told you that 3i Atlas had a maneuver detected and that this maneuver would be an unnatural acceleration? That is what this text here is claiming. Based on independently made observations.so, we are going to try to understand what is happening with this allegation in today's video. Today's video will be a little shorter than usual, right? I generally make videos of 25, 20 minutes. I believe this video will be shorter. So if you want, if you like my work and want to show support, leave a like and a comment, which helps ALOT.SO. Let's try to understand if 3i Atlas had a maneuver identified by independent observations.SO. The text is here. I will leave it here below in the description, as I always do, right? My sources are always here below in the description, and the title is 3i Atlas Tracking, Active Maneuver Confirmed. Well, they say here that independent observers have detected a deviation between the position predicted for the 3i Atlas object by JPL NASA and the actual position observed on October 21st, 2025. Then they continue by saying here that the alleged displacement would be 5.4 arc minutes, which is about 1.1 million kilometers. Quite a lot, which would indicate that the body is ahead of its expected position, something interpreted as a sign of active acceleration, not just caused by gravity. Then there are all the calculations here that they were doing. It is also mentioned that the brightness, and there is this image that illustrates the article, that the brightness is 26% fainter than predicted, even with the estimated loss of 25 kilograms per second of water and that there are geometric patterns and unusual plasma zones in its tail. Then the text concludes that if the deviation persists when 3i Atlas reappears on November 3rd, it is behind the sun. On November 3rd, it will reappear. I even left a GIF here that shows the position of 3i Atlas in the sky. The Earth is in blue here. Here it is already advanced. Here it is already in January, but as soon as it begins, I think in July, there you will see all the positioning that 3i Atlas made in the sky. There it is, July. And here it comes. The Earth is here. Then when it gets to around October, oh, September, October, look. We are here, the sun in the middle, and 3i Atlas here dot so, it's difficult to observe it, but it concludes by saying that if the deviation persists, the 3i Atlas, after it reappears on November 3rd, this would confirm a deliberate maneuver or active course adjustment. And so, what are they trying to say here? That 3i Atlas had a manifestation of intelligence? Well, folks, it is in fact an interstellar comet already studied by observatories such as Hubble and James Webb, and it has a typical composition and tail. This is a fact. Its tail and composition are atypical compared to what we expect from a comet that was born here in our region, the region here that is bathed by solar radiation. So, Everything that is born here has something like the chemical composition of our sun. So, that's why it's atypical, because 3i Atlas is not from here. However, regarding what they said here, in these data that they showed in the text, I did not find any official data confirming this deviation of 15 arc minutes or any active maneuver. There is nothing in the recent scientific literature about 3i Atlas talking about this. If you find it, send it to me, because I did not find any official source saying this, to be able, at least, to confirm what is being said here about the difference between predicted and observed positions. This can occur, folks, due to gas jets, which I have already explained here because it keeps emitting gas jets as it approaches the sun. It heats up and releases these gas jets, which cause it to wobble. Solar pressure can also do this. Ephemeris errors, that is, small inaccuracies in trajectory calculations based on incomplete or outdated data, which is common with newly discovered objects. We discovered 3i Atlas in July. So, these ephemeris errors are common and can create this impression that it has changed position. Therefore, the text mixes real facts, such as the comet's common chemical activity and everything else they mention here with speculative interpretations, such as propulsion or intelligent control. The ideal scientific approach is to treat these allegations as hypotheses and not as facts, open hypotheses, awaiting new measurements after the solar conjunction.so. Folks, they are bringing here some speculations based on data that are not precise, not refined. You understand what I'm saying, right? These data are not refined. So it may even appear in different positions. 
It may give the impression that it is moving in an unnatural way, but since we haven't refined these data, the astronomers are already compensating for that. But then people take this data and say, wow, it moved position. It's not matching masses. No, that's not it, folks. The data is not refined, partly because it is a very recent object data, so shall we wait? As I always say, it is near the sun, behind the sun. And if it is indeed something artificial, everything on its surface, dust, gases, will be swept away by the solar wind. And what remains, if it is a spacecraft, we will have a spacecraft. So let's wait for November 3rd and then wait for the observations that will be made on that date, after that date. There is a probe that was supposed to be launched that did something. But when it was near the sun, when 3i was near the sun, it took some images. And these are images that we expect to be very good because the probe is much closer to 3i Atlas than the Hubble was when it took that first image. You remember that very beautiful image of 3i Atlas. So we are waiting for this image, which has not yet been processed, and now NASA is having the shutdown, so there are few people working there. So the processing might take a little longer. And soon, James Webb, Hubble, will take new images of 3i Atlas. Other probes too, now after perihelion, when it will have the gas and dust part cleaned by the solar wind. And let's see what it will reveal, right? Will it reveal a spacecraft? If it reveals a spacecraft, many people will say, well, retract. By the way, let me say something here. People say, you're rooting for it to be a comet. You're very skeptical. It's okay, folks. I only bring you what the official data says. Of course, there are speculations, like this text here, which is highly speculative. I even said here, let's wait until November 3rd to see if this will be confirmed. The strong possibility is that it will not be confirmed. Even Avi Loeb says this. Some people say, uh, you think you know more than Avi Loeb? Avi Loeb never said that 3i is a spacecraft. In all his texts on Medium, all his articles, the first article where he raises this hypothesis, he says it is something speculative for, how does he say it? Pedagogical reasons. And he says, it's speculative, but anyway. So, what I wanted to talk about all this is that people criticize me a lot. They insult me a lot here because I don't bring the information that you want, a good part of you want to hear. The majority agrees. So much so that I see here by the likes and the difference between likes and dislikes. The likes are much higher than the dislikes. So it's a small group there that disagrees. That wants 3i to be a spacecraft, but it's a small, very noisy group for this small group who are rooting for it to be a spacecraft and attacking me because they say I'm withholding information or I'm part of the system. Take the same energy that you are using to criticize me, to attack me for saying it is a comet. And when it is confirmed after perihelion, and it becomes much clearer that it is a comet, and it left the solar system, and everything else. Take that same energy and go after those people who are spreading this almost as a certainty that 3i is a spacecraft. When it becomes very clear that it is a comet, take that same energy that you use against me and go there to demand. Go demand a retraction from those people, because many of them, I tell you, many of them even know that 3i is not a spacecraft, but they find it interesting to continue feeding this story because the views are good. I repeat, if I had said that 3i Atlas is a spacecraft since the beginning here, the views I have today would be double, right? Because this type of information attracts more people's attention. People want the fantastic, and I'm down to earth. So if I had been betting here that 3i Atlas is a spacecraft and kept insisting on it, I would have double the views I have today, folks, for sure. But not everything is about views. I cannot be dishonest when bringing the data to you, okay? Now it is worth understanding technically what could generate this type of deviation. First, comets are very volatile objects. As they approach the sun, the heat causes the ice to sublimate, ejecting jets of gas and dust in various directions. These jets act as tiny natural engines capable of slightly altering the body's trajectory. It is nothing intelligent, but the effect can look like a maneuver when viewed with low data resolution. Another important point is that the ephemerities used by tracking programs like those from JPL NASA depend on very recent data. Newly discovered objects such as 3i Atlas still have significant orbital uncertainties. Even a small margin of error can result, 
days later, in differences of millions of kilometers in the projected position .to complete, there is the factor of brightness. The activity of 3i atlas seems to decrease faster than predicted. This may indicate irregular rotation or premature exhaustion of volatiles on the surface, something observed in other interstellar bodies like Oumuamua. Therefore, before talking about active acceleration, it is necessary to confirm whether the measurement of brightness and position was adequately calibrated and reviewed. The second line of hypothesis speaks of an exotic natural phenomenon. Perhaps 3i Atlas has an unusual composition with high ejector density in specific regions, creating asymmetrical accelerations. This idea has gained strength in the most recent thermal simulations, but still lacks data. And finally, the most popular hypothesis, that the body is an artificial artifact. This possibility requires extraordinary evidence, coherent geometric signs, controlled emissions, and repetitive movement patterns. None of these signs exist so far. Even Avi Loeb himself, often cited in this debate, never categorically stated that it is a spacecraft, but only raised the hypothesis as a way to stimulate critical thinking in modern astrophysics, regardless of what 3i Atlas reveals. The most important thing is the process. Scientific investigation does not seek miracles, but understanding. What looked like a spacecraft may be just dust following cosmic laws. Even so, there is something deeply human about this kind of mystery. Looking into space, doubting, speculating, measuring, comparing, and above all, waiting for the data before declaring certainties. Because the true fascination of the cosmos is not only in the answers, but in the questions it forces humanity to ask. What comes now is the decisive moment, November 3rd, when 3i Atlas will become visible again after the solar conjunction. On that date, terrestrial telescopes and probes, including the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble, should conduct new readings. If the position deviation persists, that does deserve attention. Otherwise, we can discard the hypothesis of any active maneuver. Furthermore, understanding the behavior of 3i Atlas is essential for predicting other interstellar visitors. We have already had two before it, Amuamua and Borisov. If science observes recurring patterns, then perhaps we are facing a new type of interstellar body, which would already be revolutionary in itself. But that's it then. I even went on longer than I thought I would.